Okay YouTube, I want to do a video on resistors on your alarm panel. Um, why you should have them, in my opinion, or, and why you should put them at the end of the line. Now, sometimes as people do houses, they're not really worried about putting resistors. And I know sometimes putting them in the door itself, especially if you're using a 3 8 recess contact, it's going to be kind of hard to get a resistor in there. And that's fine. Um, if you don't want to use them, that's your preference. Um, whatever your company's policy or, or if you're doing it at your home, you might not worry about it. Uh, commercial uh, applications, you want to make sure you do resistors at the end of the line. And I'll kind of explain why. Um, excuse the crude drawing. Let's just say you got a zone tied to a panel and you got your wire run down, you got a device, you put your resistor at the end, you know, right with the device and then your wire comes back. If you put a resistor at the zone itself uh, and your device down here, um, if this is shorted out anywhere right in here, you're not going to see it. And what I mean by is this is just a simple open circuit. You know, you got your zone, you got just an open contact switch, whatever, and there's no resistor. So all it sees is that it's, there's nothing, it's open. This circuit is a closed, it's a short. There's no resistor here, so your panel is only going to just read a short which you can program out these ADEMCOs so where you don't see resistors. So basically your panel is just going to say, hey, is it open or is it closed? The problem with that is if anywhere in this wiring, these wires that go back, um, little four conductor wiring or whatever, if somehow it gets pinched or shorted together and you put a short If you put a short from here to here, then you shorted that out. No matter what you do with this switch, it's not going to see it. It's just going to see that short. Um, now, let's just say for the same example, say if you take and cut the wire here, okay, then it's always going to show open. No matter what this switch does, if it closes or opens, it's always going to show open. So you're not going to know if it's a bad switch, a bad wire. You know, you, you, it's not all it's going to see is short or open, and there's a problem with that if there's a short on the wire. Now, if you have a resistor, you got an open circuit, so it knows it's seeing the resistance. When you close it, it reads that resistor. So it it has open, it has reading the resistor, and then also if it gets shorted out, say if these wires get shorted, it will know that as well. It can go into trouble, um, you know, for a short. Um, and so forth and so on. So you, you, you have just open, you have just closed, you have open with a resistor and then you know closed with a resistor, but you're reading that resistance. So so why this means, say this is your panel, you have a short right in here, you know, you're gonna know that it's it, you got a problem with your wiring because your resistor's at the device. If you got a short right here, you're not gonna be able to tell that uh, because your resistor's at the panel. It's gonna just think you've got a perfectly closed loop. So that's why if you want it to work properly, put your resistors at the device. And Now I can also show you that here. Uh, we've got just a contact, no resistor. Kind of twist these things on here. And if we put a magnet out there, then it shows a closed circuit. Takes the magnet away, opens your circuit up. Basic. But if I take and cut this wire, I'm pinching this wire now, and remove this magnet, it's still showing a closed circuit because I've got a cut. I'll remove the pinch or the cut, bam, open circuit. Now, on one with a resistor, I have a contact wired with a resistor here. And we will go, this is a 2K resistor, so that's showing 1.97, you know, they have a 10% tolerance, but this is a 2K resistor. Open, close, but you're reading the resistance, and now I'll put a short. Now you see there's a short, a dead short on this wire. Basically what I'm doing is I'm taking my cutters and pinching the wire until it 
breaks through the plastic. Take the short away. Yeah, I moved a little too far from the magnet. Okay, so we're going to put a short back on here. I'm going to take the magnet away. Does nothing. Remove the short. Now it's back. So that's that's why it's important if you want it to properly work. Now I understand some houses and stuff, you might not care. I um, I don't put the resistors at the end of my house just because I have three eighths, you know, um, little contacts and it's hard to shove a magnet in there. I mean, a, a resistor in there. But anyway, that's the differences between you know no resistor and then resistors and shorts and stuff and, and how it can affect your system and you're basically your panels just reading this voltage um, you know see if there's a resistor or not it can be programmed out but um, resistor is supervised um, comes to the next point if it was a smoke alarm now smoke detectors are wire uh, let's just say this is your smoke detector and this is your loop they're normally open you would put the resistor across both terminals and then your wires to your panel and what that's going to do is you're just always reading the resistor let me bring this up here it's reading the resistor if when the the um the smoke detector trips it puts a short across these terminals so now the panel, it shorts it out. So basically, it, it does, it's just like a closed loop with no resistor, and it goes into alarm. But if you have a break in your wiring here, then it shows an open, which will go into trouble. So open on trouble, alarm on short, and in, in just reading the resistance is normal. On a normally closed, like a door contact, this is a normally open circuit with a smoke detectors and, and sometimes panic buttons. You can wire like this. Um, on like door contacts and, and motions and so forth um, this is just a normally closed circuit that you'd normally do and it's just going to be reading the resistance is fine uh, open is your you know just regular open but alarm will occur on a short or uh, an open so anyway um, I hope this helps I hope my drawings aren't too retarded um, but um, you know, maybe it'll help some of you guys trying to understand why you need resistors or why you should put them out there. Um, and yeah, comments, uh, let me know something I can help you with. Thanks.